Hello everyone and welcome to the Sedona International Film Festival. I'm your host Carol Kahn. We are coming to you live from Yavapai College. Yavapai College is one of our sponsors along with Northern Arizona Healthcare, the Kling Family Foundation, BMO Bank, Goldenstein Gallery, and the City of Sedona along with our long, very long list of hoteliers, restaurateurs, and other sponsors and volunteers. We'd like to thank everybody for their participation in this year's festival. And joining me now are two filmmakers, Tom and Heather, and your film? It's called My Dear Aunt Sally. My Dear Aunt Sally. Mm -hmm. And um, tell us a little bit um, about the film. Want to start with this story? Sure. Um, I wrote this story because uh, I've seen a lot of very anxious little children, um, you know, the kinds who like can't go into the arcade because it might be too loud. Um, and I always really felt for these kids because they should be able to enjoy their childhoods. And uh, so this film is about a little boy with that kind of anxiety and uh, he, he has an Aunt Sally and uh, she's a real free spirit and they start to go on these little outings and it's kind of like an exposure therapy for him but also the lessons he learns from Aunt Sally help undo and unravel some of that anxiety so over the course of these vignettes over time you see him start to be able to to cope better and to have more fun and enjoy himself a little bit more and I just thought that was really important. <laughs> so is this based on a true story or is it just something that like you just said that you wanted to represent yeah, it's just it's just something I wanted um, to represent because I you know I've just known kids like that and I just wanted to to show a way that you know they can emerge from from that a little bit. But when he read it, it seemed like it was almost a little bit of a true story from his family's life, and that's what drew him. So. <laughs> it, it had some parallels for sure. Um, I thought it was a beautifully written story, and I thought oh, I really want to work work with Heather on this. And uh, my father was a shy introverted child and and uh, his, he had an aunt as well who for her time it was the 40s and the 50s but for her time was a forward-thinking woman and certainly uh, helped him become the man that he, he ultimately uh, became and uh, so there were certainly some parallels with Luke and Sally and with my father and his aunt and awesome. so it so it became a very dear story to me yeah yes I could see that so we have a trailer so let's take a look at the trailer and we'll talk more okay Just do your exercises like Dr. Khan taught you. <coughs> You're gonna have a blast with Aunt Sally. Ah, first try! I can't believe you did that. Don't, don't ever let anyone tell you you can't do something just because you're a kid. Aunt Sally? Thanks. Where'd you find that kid? <laughs> he actually lives in the same suburb of Austin as I do. It was amazing. I didn't know him, and he came to, you know, it was all video auditions, but he he, uh, he just delivered, and I, I don't know. He just came out of the sky. <laughs> he came out of the sky. He was an amazing little boy, and his parents were really, really uh, uh, great as He's well. That's great. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're definitely going to take credit for discovering him because he yes. he will be huge. Uh, <laughs> Brody stars. <laughs> Serious, seriously. <laughs> Um, and yeah, he's he's had he's been cast in some pretty good stuff since uh, since he was in uh, My Dear Aunt Sally. So we're really excited for him. And actually, he was auditioning for something this weekend, and that's why he he wanted to come to this. And oh, that would have been amazing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that would have been really amazing. Yeah. So you know, watching this film, it it looks like that you know his aunt actually is a mentor, and it just mm -hmm. sort of jogged. A memory for me with my uncle because he wasn't quirky like that but my uncle was like an educator for me mm -hmm. um, so as far as like you two go um, did you have someone special in your life that you could relate to Wow yes there's been, there's been so many people I guess I'll just have to go back to my dad mm -hmm. uh, and, and I mean he's gone now and especially as I've gotten older I've just understood uh, un become to understand him more as time has gone by um, yeah. And, and you, Heather? Yeah, um, I have a, like, a, um, my mom, her best friend when I was growing up, I'd come and spend 
like a week every summer. You know, I guess my parents would have some time away from me. But <laughs> at the time, I just thought I was going to see uh, my mom's best friend and her husband. And they didn't have kids, but she was a teacher. And so she was so much fun. And, you know, we always just had the best time. And, and you know, they just were always there for me. And we had a blast. And uh, so she, she was a little bit my, I called her my Aunt Sandy. So, <laughs> so. I know, isn't that special, like, when you think about it and think about relationships and how really important it is and the influences that you could have on a child's life growing mm -hmm. up? I mean, I think that just says it all right there. Yeah, yeah. I think having yeah. that, that adult in your life that isn't necessarily your parent, because uh, even as close as we can be to our parents, we don't always believe everything they tell right. us. But That's if you true. have that other trusted adult who's yeah. like, listen, this is, you know, yeah. here's what you need to know. They listen a little bit more. So. Yeah. I can't wait to get my hands on my new grandbaby. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs> I have it all planned out. <laughs> TPs and Legos and who knows what. Oh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Crazy stuff. So maybe there's a, there's another movie, a follow-up. <laughs> sure. So um, tell us how people can find out about your film. We have a website. Uh, you can you can go to www.doubledskyfilms.com, which will have a list of films. That'll be there. There's Facebook groups, say, uh, My Dear Aunt Sally Facebook group. Um, what other goodies do we have out there? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, I tweet a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I, if you, I will tweet more about like what's happening with the movie and stuff. And my Twitter handle is at Jolly Wandering. So. I, I think you just, there's something about, about the film and being happy and jolly and all that kind of stuff. I think you just have it all together. Thanks. <laughs> and then your film being shown, where? It world premiered here. Yeah. There's a few more festivals coming up. And, and then, and yep. while we're here, we still have one screening tomorrow. Uh, we're in Shorts Block 6, and that's at 1 o'clock at Harkins 1, I think. Okay. Yep. Awesome. Tomorrow, tomorrow yeah. That's right, yeah, Saturday. Okay. Yes. All right. So that's awesome. So thank you so much for being here all the way from Austin mm -hmm. and uh, being part of our film festival. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, it's so nice to meet you. You too. And don't forget to follow us live on Facebook Live and also to hashtag Sedona Film Fest 23 and hashtag SIFF 23. We'll be back with more from the Sedona International Film Festival after this.